that song. Yeah, just try it, you know. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Try it, it's so much fun because only exists three different kind. Okay? Almost like this. <laughs> I, you know, it's like crazy, but it's just only three. But the guitar is really interesting instrument because anybody can learn visually very quickly just because way they put things frets and you know f position if you learn shapes that present you know harmony so easy so the beginning i think i want you to understand guitar is supposedly simple instrument somebody invented so that anybody can play quickly you know four or five chords maybe a little bit more then you can learn a lot of songs folk songs but then somewhat people start playing more notes more different harmony different position who invented this one like it's higher position like this you know unnecessary position so people start playing more notes so what happened is player artist appeared before the teacher teacher is late <laughs> So the music first, then teacher kind of figuring out. I'm a teacher also, but it took me 30 years really to understand what it is. So today we learn triads on third, fourth, fifth string. So basically fifth uh, root. So you have to go root, third, fifth. Again, you have to understand a little bit theory. Theory is this, this is the root. Major second, major third, fourth, fifth, major sixth, major seven, and root. That's like a C. Do, re, mi, fa, so, da, ti, do. Okay? Now, triads is this. So, first you have to understand distance. Root to the major third, it's two whole step. Major third to fifth, it's a minor third. You know, whole step and half. A little bit longer, you know. So, so here first, you kind of have to memorize maybe, but C, E, G, do mi so. See, easy to write this tablature on a napkin. Anybody can learn, but that's that's um, <laughs> okay. So here, root third fifth. So slowly, you have to learn do mi so C E G root major third fifth. So that's root position. We are learning today fifth, fourth, and third. But I did a previously. I did this lesson. Second, third, fourth string, do mi so. Ten, nine, eighth fret, or the top three string. Now, good part is this: this and here, same shape. So fifth string, sixth string, same shape, which is good. Okay, now you learn root position. See those fills come from triads. Third, fifth, root. See, slow means this. Slow means this. Let's play slow. Root, <laughs> third. Third, I was expecting root, so that's why. Third, fifth, root. Slowly. Okay? So this is the first inversion. Major third fifth root. Slow. So now next one, tenth frets, tenth and ninth, using three, four, two. That's second inversion. Sodomi.
That's the first inversion. So now you learn root position. Do mi so, mi so do, so do mi, do mi so. So if you learn key of C, start with this shape like that. So if you wanna do root position, like maybe D, let's change the key, D. Root, major third, and fifth. Okay, root, third, fifth. See, major third, minor third. So this, this one is a, a first inversion. Trumpets, that's second inversion. That's the sound. So, um, great about learning triads because the triads contain root, third, fifth from major scale, so kind of main sound. And if you add a you know, root, third, fifth, and major seventh, the major seventh arpeggio, if you add a flat seven, dominant seventh arpeggio, so forth, you can add more things once you learn. But idea is, my teaching, I do not recommend any memorization. Understand, be familiar with things super, super slowly so that you use this for a long time, you can really control. So you don't want to do anything like, you know, five minutes, you can write on a napkin, you learn in five minutes, and you sounds like same next five years. You don't want to do that, just because that's the nature of a guitar. Because visually, you learn so quickly, and you stuck with it. <laughs> you know? My job is to make unstuck. Okay? So now you want to learn like this, start from different inversions, like that, you know, root, root position, okay? So do you understand root position? So root position of one after means this. Other great part of learning triads, because this way, you have to use your thumb position, you see? like a center so then really good fingering spread your finger and relax this hand you know then you learn intonation you adjust intonation from your bridge you know subtle so that you know every chord you play sounds good because Triads because if you only play, you know, around you know, third or five, fifth fret, it sounds great. But then if you go tenth or twelve intonation, I'm not sure if you, you know, this is a great way to learn. So now, here, if I play A, that's the first inversion. So back to C. So if you play this, you know, learning triads, you understand same sound, a different position. That's nothing to do with the lesson, but you know, yeah, why not? So here. Any uh, line you learn, oh wow, 
That's the first inversion. Bottom note is major third, top is root. Nice. Oh, I can see Second inversion. <laughs> like that. So, okay. A, first inversion. Second inversion. One more, so la la last one, maybe like I can do F or G. How about G? That's the second inversion, Sodomi. So yeah, you have to really sit down figuring out different inversions to do. And you really need to do, you know, um, like if I play D, if I play G, A. So this is almost one for five and D. So that's G, D. This is a great way to do songwriting because you think of chords, but instead of bar chords, you just use it like, you know, like. Like that you can create a song already I can hear something I can do it you know so yeah so first you learn key of C the next one maybe key of D one four five so that's like a D G A so I did that basics <laughs> so then the beginning I don't want to go too long beginning I played uh, Rolling Stones right
So that's like a great song to work on triads. Maybe I should stop there because I don't want to spoil. See, now you can use that song, either the song, right? Now you play that song, but not bar chords, not open chords. Just use, you know, different triads. This way, you learn three types of triads. Now you can start recognize what sound is root position, which sound is a first inversion, second inversion. Then gradually, you play like a piano. That's why Hendrix good at it, these, because he hears more like a piano. Guitar, he understands the bar chords, but then he... getting longer so I have to stop now but thank you so much thank you so much for watching Tomoshi the music I really really appreciate so if you like my content here please hit the like button so that you know consider subscribing my channel if you hit the bell notification this will allow you to all my contents new content so you won't miss anything that'd be great right <laughs> This will help me in creating a lot more exciting content, fun content for you in the future. So, please, please subscribe my channel, Tomoshita Music. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.